If Jesus came to your house to spend a day or two, if he came unexpectedly, I wonder what you'd do. Oh, I know you'd give your nicest room to such an honored guest, and all the food you'd serve to him would be the very best. And you would keep assuring him you're glad to have him there, that serving him in your home is a joy beyond compare. But when you saw him coming, would you meet him at the door with arms outstretched in welcome to your heavenly visitor? Or would you have to change your clothes before you let him in? Or hide some magazines and put the Bible where they had been? Would you turn off the radio and hoped he hadn't heard? And wish you hadn't uttered that last loud hasty word? Would you hide your worldly music and put the hymn books out? Could you let Jesus walk right in? Or would you rush about? And I wonder if the Savior spent a day or two with you. Would you go right on doing the things you always do? Would you keep right on saying the things you always say? Would life for you continue as it does from day to day? Would your family conversation keep up its usual pace? Or would you find it hard each meal to say a table grace? Would you sing the songs you always sing and read the books you read? and let him know the things on which your mind and spirit feed. Would you take Jesus with you everywhere you'd plan to go? Or maybe would you change your plans for just a day or so? Would you be glad to have him meet your very closest friends or hope that they'd stay away until his visit ends? Would you be glad to have him stay forever on and on? Or would you sigh a great relief when he at last was gone? Yes, it might be interesting to know the things that you would do if Jesus came in person to spend some time with you.